Go ahead. I like building things. Uh -huh. uh, built an airplane. I built a house up in Tehachapi. I built a lot of little things. Sure. Um, and uh, grandchildren, got grandchildren, so I wanted to do something for them. I uh, started out with an old article in Popular Science, or Popular Mechanics, I think it is. Sure. Back in 1944 eight or something like that, uh -huh. saw the train and thought, hmm, that'd be a fun thing to do. Uh -huh. Now, um, if you saw my YouTube video... I did, I was uh, impressed. It was, one of the comments in there is, there are a lot of people that have backyard trains, but they spend a lot of money primarily for the tracks. Uh -huh. So I was trying to figure out a way to save money. So sure. The big thing here is, the track that I use is uh, um, electrical conduit. Uh huh. Now it's that not, gray stuff. It's the gray stuff. Yeah. It's it's not the most ideal track. Usually is a rectangular type uh, structure. Sure. Um, but the uh, conduit is a circular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because of that, you got to be careful because you can have derailment a little bit more derailments. Oh, I see. But uh, um, so I use that, and, and that's really cheap. I mean, I've. Uh, for a 10-foot section, it only cost maybe 10 bucks or so for a 10-foot section. Two pieces of conduit and a bunch of 2x4s. Uh, yeah. And then um, and that worked out pretty good. Um, for the, the trains themselves, they're all out of wood. Sure. You know, not I didn't use much metal or anything else. But so I, that means you can use... Uh, uh, table saw and uh, table jigsaw. Saw, and jigsaw, sanders, uh -huh. that type of thing. Um, and uh, so that kept it cheap. Wheels, I made my own wheels. I mean, uh, what I did is I got caster wheels and then I added a flange on it. You need a flange to ensure that you can stay on the track. Sure. Okay, so I built up a flange, a uh, piece of uh, six inch diameter aluminum. Uh, plate mm -hmm. bolted onto the side of the wheel. It gives me the flange. Uh, as far as the motive power for it, I initially started out using um, motors from a uh, um, window uh, lifts. Mm. Okay, and that was fine. But there, it, that's a uh, a worm, worm gear ar arrangement and. If it's not run and somebody pushes it, you can strip the gears. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So I eventually went to a chain and sprocket type arrangement. Sure. Um, as far as controlling the motors, well, I have a 12 volt tractor battery sits into the tra uh, into the engine, and then I have um, I went on the web. You can buy these. Uh, uh, motor controllers that they use for RC cars and things mm -hmm. and hook that up. Sure. Now, everything I'm telling you was after <laughs> playing for a while and All right. experimenting. A little and trial and error. Uh, 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 yeah, a lot of little trial and error. Uh, okay. But it uh, um, worked out pretty good eventually, and that's what I have. I can pull like a 200 pound load up a 3% grade, uh -huh. so a bunch of kids sitting in the back uh, works out pretty good. Sure, um, sure. Then I got switch tracks in there, and I bought a set of uh, linear actuators, uh -huh. and so I can automatically move the switches, um, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, made up the Tommy the Train, made up uh, the uh, Super Chief, um, diesel engine type thing um, okay I also have if you okay. listen <laughs> cool now what's in your hand there Okay, this is the controller. This is the controller, okay. If I go on the web, you can buy for about 20 bucks a, uh -huh. a controller, plus the electronics is in the, the motor controller is sure. in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm the number one blue engine. <laughs> so. Clever. Whoops. 
pull, you know, pulling on the pulling, it goes forward and pushing it goes back. Uh huh. But let me now. Let and one of the big thing is you got to make sure your switch tracks are right or you get derailment. Sure, sure. Okay. So come on, quiet. So, mm -hmm. go over that. You have to go slow. Uh -huh. Okay, now I gotta make sure the other one is right, which it is. Okay, switch that. Now, on any train, backing up is critical. Going forward on a train is fairly easy. Okay. It follows, but backing up, it's like backing up a car. Uh -huh. You know how that works. You got to make sure you got everything right. You don't, you wind up jackknifing. That's so right. So it might, it might derail. We'll have to see what happens. And our other track is correct. So we're going to go and see what happens. It took a while to tune the switch tracks. Yeah. To get them all correct. To get out all the work. Well, okay, we, we did it. No jackknife there. Okay, now the other. So I have to switch this track. Sure. And then the other one, you see far out there? That one? Yeah. Right now the arrow is down, or the flag is down, which means it's, it won't go. It's not set to go straight. Now it's going to go. I'm going to change it. Oh, yeah. Up goes the. The flag, so now we're clear. Now we're clear. Well, it looks like it runs smooth to me, smoothly. Well, reasonable considering, I mean, this setup here is probably about. $2,500. I see. Yeah, okay. but this is pretty... Over a year and a half uh -huh. of playing. Uh-huh. Okay, now let me bring the other one out. Oh, which is the Super Chief. Which I always... You ever had a Lionel? Yes. Of course. Of course. You wanted a Super Chief. Right. This one, I gotta make sure I get the track set up right. Yeah. I see. Two grandsons and two granddaughters. I see. The first granddaughter was Sophie. Mm. The first grandson was Forrester. So this is the Sophie Forrester Railroad. <laughs> and the that's the S and F Railroad. Got it. And the number is two two four because there's two girls, two boys, four total. Uh-huh. Needed a way to, to change the direction of the trains. Uh-huh. They're all going 
clockwise now. Uh huh. So instead of building a roundhouse or a round table, oh sure, I built this. Oh look at this. Now sure. I'm bring him back on this one, but I got to change the. <laughs> now we're gonna have a collision. We're gonna have a head-on. Watch out here. Yeah. Which hand is which? You know, what we'll do is we'll bring this guy off the main line. I did write up a technical paper on it. Uh -huh. The details where I bought the product, I mean, sure. bought the things, and sure. measurements and stuff like that. If anybody's interested in uh, copying it, not a problem. I can provide all the information. Sure. Now, uh, what would be the uh, web? address to get that from? Well, um, it's on YouTube. Okay. If you search for backyard tr riding train, you yeah. know, it's not good. Okay, so the inside is simple. pretty clean and simple. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's the battery. Needs to be charged up occasionally. These are salad cups from oh. <laughs> uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, okay. They're supposed to be the fans that cool the... Sure, you know. sure. Cool the regular engine and... Uh, I, I can't show you underneath, obviously, without pulling... No, no, no. The whole thing. Don't have to. Uh-huh, but the... This one here... Same, yeah. Same basic idea. Sure, sure. Isn't that sweet? Really good. Mm hmm. And some decoration? Yeah, yeah. Make some one fun. by? Yeah. Yep. And now, the track in the suites here. Yes. We got to get close and look at that. Oh, I can't. Let me see. Well, this is good. There is a. Oh, there is an actuator, a linear actuator in here. Oh, I see. It's like those things that move the antennas mm -hmm. around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it moves the bar, which okay. switches it. Okay, which is here and moves that piece of essentially electrical PVC. Yeah. Let me, uh, yeah. 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 Yep. See it go in and out. Uh, you've got to be. I mean, it takes. A Trees! Watch out for the trees! Oh! <laughs> okay! Nice! Uh-huh! <laughs>